This is Nick Farnell from MGMT 1314 at Niagara College and we're going to be going through the human resources exercise. Uh, so first off make sure that you do have the paper copy in front of you or a digital copy of it. There are a few things as we work through this exercise that are different on screen than they are in the paper copy and we'll address those as we get there. So this is like we mentioned the HR exercise. Uh, to start off we'll go tools Business Workflow, Development, Definition Tools, Organizational Management, Organizational Plan, and Create. From here, it's going to be today's date until the end of time, and we're just going to click the check mark here. should bring us to this window and we're going to build the organizational structure here so under the basic data tab we're going to enter our number and then FSHR in the new organizational unit so make sure you highlight everything delete that out and then your number FSHR and then in new organizational unit Delete that and type in your number. Fitter, snacker, organization. So then we'll click on account assignment. So this tab here. And once we're in here, uh, we can click on the default value customizing, so this little button right here. Right now it's set to a different controlling area, but that's not the, the correct one for us. So we're going to click here and select your number, Fitter Snacker. So I'm 49, I'm going to click 49 Fitter Snacker, you'll click your own number, Fitter Snacker. Then in company code, your number FS, and personnel area, same thing. Click save to save that current structure. So next we're going to create a manufacturing group up here in organization we're going to click on this so it'll be highlighted when you click on it then we're going to click on the create button so this one up here looks like a little page that'll bring you to this window and we're going to double click on organizational unit so this right here which will get us to this screen So now you can see a new organizational unit has been added right here. In here, we're going to enter some information. So under basic data right here, make sure you're in that tab. You're going to enter uh, your number. So highlight this in the organizational unit. Then your number, M-A-N-U for manufacturing. And then here, 49, or your number, manufacturing group. Then we'll click on account assignment. In here, if it's not already shown, make sure that the company code and personnel area are your number, then FS, and make sure that this should say 49 or your number fitter snacker. We'll click save to save the structure and then we'll move on to the next step. So make sure that manufacturing group is selected and click on create so this button right here. We're going to double click organizational unit 
and then in here make sure basic data is selected and new organizational unit we're going to replace that with your number and PROD for production and here your number production so that looks good there we'll click on account assignment next controlling area should be your number fitter snacker and then the master master cost field we'll click in there and then we're going to click the search button beside it in the search window make sure that your number FS is the controlling area and company code then you can click on the enter button from here we're going to select the production cost center so this one right here should be P010 and that should be your number so we'll double click right here and then we'll click save so we've added production up here um, so we click on production to highlight it and then we're going to create a new icon again so click create which will bring us to this window this time instead of organizational unit we're going to click on position so double click position under here in new position we're going to replace that with your number P R O D M G R for production manager. And here we're going to call it production manager. So once we've added that, we can click save. And next we have to identify the production manager as uh, the, the head of the area. To do that, we'll click on this button here. It says display key date. So make sure that you are still on the production manager area or you're, you're still in the section and then we're going to click on display key date. And down here it'll say head of own organizational unit. So click on that and then click save. In the printed copy it says that the icon will change to red. Uh, in the updated version it doesn't change to red but you can see this little person has a hat on now and that's how we identify that this is a, the head of the, an organizational unit or a chief. Okay, so next we're going to create a position that is um, just a regular production scheduler. So under production up here, make sure you have that selected, not production manager, but just production. Um, we're going to click on create again. We'll double click position. For position here, we're going to enter our number for schedule and then for the description scheduler and we'll click save from there and here you can see the difference. This one is not wearing a hat but this one is wearing a hat and the one wearing a hat is the the manager. So this is a pretty quick one. You're going to save your screenshot here and upload it to the course website. Um, really quick exercise this week. Upload that one and we are good to go.